hello guys you're welcome my name is buku mibike crown so guys i'm here again with another comedy reaction this time around we're going to be listening to some comedy by ricky gebas and the title of the comedy is jokes to offend people performed at chicago stand up 2019 so let's watch guys i uh i hope i haven't offended anyone with any of the uh, subject no i do <laughs> I do. That's not the point. I don't try and offend. If I have offended anyone, and I'm sure I have, I don't apologise. Um, no, I think you should. You have to be able to justify everything you do. And I just think that a comedian should take you to taboo places you haven't been before. Otherwise, you could do it yourself. There's enough anodyne comedy out there just doing things, obvious stuff that, you know, doesn't make you know, any, any difference at all. And there's this spate of comedians saying sorry when they go too far. I just think... You know, you should... They go, oh, sorry, I didn't mean it. Well, you should know better then. It's, there's also a witch hunt at the moment with people saying, oh, is there anything you shouldn't make a joke about? No, there's nothing you shouldn't joke about. It depends what the joke is. Mm, amazing! <laughs> Comedy comes from a good or a bad place, and it's for you to decide what, what that is. And I, I think that there's a big debate about sick jokes. Oh, comedians are doing sick jokes. Now... The thing about sick jokes, when we tell a sick joke, it's with the express understanding that neither party is really like that. I wouldn't tell a sick joke to a known pedophile. I wouldn't go, here, yeah, mate, you're going to fucking love this more than anyone, son. <laughs> <Do you> know, <laughs> and I've never been in trouble for anything I've said in my professional career because I've refused to apologise. What can they do to you? you know, growing up, you know, you try, try things out and you get taken the wrong way a, a little bit. Not like the dolphin. I mean, you know, not... <laughs> When I was about 23, 24, um, me and my girlfriend met up with this other couple. They'd moved down from the north of England to London. They used to come in the place I used to work, and we had a couple of drinks with them. They were cool people and they were fun. And um, uh, after we'd met them a couple of times, they invited us to a party at their house. And we went along. One, it was a dinner party, which they hadn't warned us about. Um, but two, it was for their family that had come down from the north to see how they were getting on. And it was both that said parents and grandparents and great uncles, uh, average age about 85, right? Mm -hmm. And I think we were an afterthought. We thought, oh, oh, oh God, we don't know anyone our own age. Oh, that Ricky and Jane, right? So we went along, and we were still getting to know them, so we just spoke to them all night. We didn't really mingle with the, with the older uh, uh, people. And um, as I say, we use comedy as a sword and a shield and a medicine, but usually as a getting to know you, okay? We use comedy to break the ice. Are you like-minded? What can you take? What do you like? And I've always sort of pushed the boundaries a little bit to try and make people laugh at things they didn't think they could. But, you know, uh, but then, uh, you know, everything turns out okay. Wow, I really enjoy the point of view. You know, some people always take jokes too personal. That's how I see it. Most people like to take jokes too personal because it depends on how you read meaning to what it says. There are some things that, okay, it will talk generally and it's just trying to make you feel relaxed and catch fun and laugh over it. But there are some people that they would never laugh to a joke or to a comedy. They take things too serious, they read meaning to a lot of things. So this is what it's trying to address in this video that you can't just tell somebody not to crack jokes or not to make jokes or not to do comedy. It depends on how you see it. If you're not really interested in it, it's fine. You might not be interested in the way craft jokes, okay, but other people might be, like, might be interested in it. Like I said, if you know somebody already, you always craft jokes with the person and the person doesn't really like it when you craft joke, you can as well stop. But if it's a group of people and you're cracking jokes and majority of them are enjoying or feeling or, you know, make they're just enjoying your jokes, and they are catching fun with it and because of maybe few people don't like your type of joke you can't just tell him to stop making some certain jokes or so so that's why i said um he used um what is in the like he used people to crack joke things he sees around him people he sees around him he can use it to quickly you know crack some jokes and just for you to laugh over it it's just uh things to laugh over that's why they call it jokes that's why it's called comedy Life is not too hard. Laugh over some things, no matter how tense you are, tense you are, no matter how you know things are hard or whatever you're passing through. Once in a while, just laugh over it and 
move on. That's how it is. That's how it is. I'm, I'm really enjoying what he's saying. What he's saying is full of wisdom and I'm picking one or two things from me. So let's keep watching, guys. I suppose. And I started off lightly. I told this joke. Mm -hmm. um, why did the little girl fall off the swing? Because she had no arms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sweet. Um, and they laughed a little bit louder than that. There was only two of them, so thanks, right? <laughs> no, so I thought, okay, they get it. They like, so, and so you up the ante a little bit. I don't, you push. And I told this joke. Oh, I need a drink. Oh, my. <laughs> Start the car, seriously? Right. <laughs> These days, I'm serious. <laughs> I told this joke. Made sure the old people couldn't hear. Like that. I went, okay. Father, sitting at home, just reading the newspaper. This little girl comes running in. She's only six. Hello, darling. Hello, daddy. You've been playing? Yeah. In the park? Yeah. With your friends? Well, until the man came along. Till the man came along? Yeah, a man came along and he asked my friends to leave, so it was just me and him. Darling, come, come over. Whatever happened, none of it was your fault, okay, darling? None of it was your fault, but tell Daddy every detail. What happened? Um, he took me behind a tree so no one could see what we were doing. Oh, God, darling, and then what happened? Um, he took my dress off. Oh, God, what happened next? What happened? Um, he took his thing out. Oh, God, darling, and then what happened? Nothing, that was it. Oh, we'll make something up. Okay, crazy. How long has it happened? <laughs> I don't understand that one. <laughs> oh, he loves to take drinks. I think that's his energy drink. <laughs> don't tell anyone that. I want it to be a surprise. Um, <laughs> so I told that joke, carried on, getting a bit drunker, telling jokes. Eventually, we sat down for the meal at about quarter to ten. They put two tables together, and the host sat at either end, and they put me in the middle, opposite this very sweet but very deaf sort of 80-year-old man, so conversation was a bit stilted. And after about 20 minutes, Ian, one of the hosts, pipes up and says, Oh, Ricky, tell that joke. I went, what? <laughs> All the old people went, Oh, we love jokes. Do you? <laughs> I looked at Ian, Ian went, Be fine. I went, OK. And he got on with his conversation. And so they're all like that. I went, um, oh, uh, <laughs> father sitting at home reading the paper. <laughs> Little girl comes running, told the whole joke, got to the bit, we'll make something up. They went, <clears throat> silence. I looked at Ian, he went, not that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this video is so short. It's so short, but. <laughs> I really enjoyed uh, watching this, but I don't understand the story he gave, whereas, you know, the man took the small girl to a place and, you know, he removed the straws or something and said he saw the thing, but nothing happened. Is it possible for something like that to happen? Like, oh, am I not just getting that part of the joke or story? There are some jokes that people find it offensive. There are some jokes that people laugh over it. Even though it's offensive, some people just laugh over it because of your facial expression, the way you say it. There are some people that they don't really take joke too personal. Why some people they think they take it too far. They, just, they take it too far. And this was really lovely to watch. I really understood some of the messages it passed through this video and it was really lovely. Man, see how he could he was grasping for bread. I know that anytime he's performing, he loves to take energy drink. I'm sure that's energy drink. To boosting boosting his energy because he gets tired easily while talking. Yeah. But I really enjoyed this video. It was fun. I really learned one or two things from it. Yes, I know. Don't ask me what I learned. Yes, I've explained what I have learned. I hope you also enjoyed this video. So guys, that's all I for this particular video. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more reaction video. I'll see you guys in my next video. Catch ya.